uh, again, is there a disconnect between what Putin knows and what Putin is being told and what his soldiers are being actually able to achieve or not achieve on the war front? I think that uh, the problem here is becoming clear to Russian authorities that they uh, have invaded Ukraine without enough forces. The, uh, it is true that there is some anti-war sentiment uh, being expressed, but much, much bigger uh, group of opponents, critics of Putin are on the right. Nationalists who, th who are now saying quite openly that this war needs to be prosecuted uh, to the fullest because uh, until now Putin has insisted on uh, a, a special military operation of a limited scope um, and and this Ukrainian offensive shows that they created a, a front line that was too long for the forces that they had to adequately defend. They, they have, uh, according to According to Russian sources, they have more or less stalled the offensive in the south there around Kherson. Uh, but this lightning strike in in the Izium direction uh, it for, forced them to retreat. According to Russian authorities or military authorities, they mostly got their forces out. They relinquished this these cities, this land, and have re repaired to the other side of the Oskol River, where they're re-establishing a front line uh, but it's uh, now you have a lot of people including the head of uh, Chechnya uh, quite a few military officers people in the nationalist right saying we need to declare war and we need full mobilization that's not a hopeful thing that's that because uh, Russia is much bigger and, and more powerful than Ukraine uh, if they do mobilize they will be able to put forward armies uh, of, of considerable yeah. size and 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 that means if Putin takes their advice or takes their criticism uh, to heart uh, it means a bigger wider war uh, and not the end of it